Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye, Molly. <laughs> Bye. Good morning. All right, today we continue working on these, uh, these, gosh, I'm not even sure what to call it, because we ripped off the cap rail, we cleaned out all of the old caulking inside this hold the deck joint, and we have filled it with uh, just plain clear epoxy. Now we are continuing on in that process. Now what we have to do today is to fill and fare the top of this bulwark before we can start laying on fiberglass cloth. Isn't that right, Tammy? That is correct. That's a very nice looking hat, by the way. Thank you. We had to purchase it last night because I forgot my other hat at home. Mm -hmm. Mandatory equipment. Can't do without a nice hat like this when you're working outside in the Florida sun. Yep. So uh, she's got a nice hat now. So again, so here's showing you kind of what's happening today, the close up view. So we have this filled with epoxy. We have this with a coat of plain epoxy on the top. We're going to rough this up. We're gonna wipe it down with acetone and then we're gonna start mixing up some thickened epoxy to fill in this gap and simultaneously basically fare the point from this inner edge to this outer edge to make it one flat surface so that we can start laying on layers of, uh, what is it called? Biaxial matte cloth. Yeah, that's what's happening today. Let's get to it. All right. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, thank you, Tamby. I couldn't figure out why my handy remote wasn't working. Tamby pointed out the simple fact that I didn't have the vacuum cleaner on, and that's why I love you. That is why you love me? That's one of many reasons why I love you. All right, now the whole rail is vacuumed. Uh, well, actually it's been sanded, vacuumed, and now Tamby is doing an acetone wipe back there. So the next thing that I'm about to do is to figure out our, our thickened epoxy mix. So this is our supplies. We've got, you know, the, the West Systems resins here. This is the 205 Fast Hardener. We're gonna see if we can be quick enough to make that stuff work got cups we've got mixing sticks we have some measuring cups to to you know help measure this stuff out in a predictable and repeatable fashion and uh, the idea now is see I don't know exactly how much of this stuff to add it's going to be kind of a trial and error sort of thing because we want it to be thick enough to not sag and run but thin enough to you know still have a lot of grip in the epoxy to bond with this first layer we put down it's possible in other words to put far too much thicker uh, thickener in the epoxy and then it just doesn't have any grip left in it because it's you know it's just not wet anymore it's you know soaked up all the the filler stuff 
So, a little bit of experimenting uh, happening next, but once we figure it out, we should be able to use the measuring cups and the pumpers to get a really repeatable mix going. All right, so that's two pumps to one quarter of a cup. With this fast hardener, you gotta get this stuff out of the cup ASAP, because this uh, large mass of epoxy really kicks off fast. So I'm just gonna get it out of the cup and onto the surface, and then I'll move it around from there so that it doesn't turn into a rock inside the cup. Scraper, and I'm just getting it along the top and down into that joint. That's pretty much it. There we go. Got that gap filled in. Now there's a few different things happening. One is we're filling in this gap. Two is we're filling in any low imperfections uh, around these screw holes or otherwise in this top surface just to get it all nice and even uh, And then we are checking to be sure there's not any large chunks Sliding down the outside of the boat, which I do have taped on the outside um, And then we need to get back to the the epoxy station and wipe this off before it cures so that it's fresh for the next cup so two pumps in here mixed together got me about two feet so that's kind of that's kind of a handy little metric to know. One pump per foot. All right, now we're about to get efficient, about to set up an assembly line, right? Right. Tamby's gonna be the mix master, the mixologist, the epoxyologist. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's gonna mix these cups up with thickened epoxy, deliver them to me along the rail, and I'm gonna be smearing the stuff in place. Right. right? All right, baby. All right, go for it. Two pumps of each. Oh no. No. Next. Oh no. Those. There it is. Yep, give that a mix. So just do yeah, do kind of a basic mix like you're doing, and then be sure you're scraping the sides of the cup and the bottom of the cup. But uh, also keep in mind that that stuff goes off pretty quick, and you're, it's going to get a bit of mixing even once the filler's in there too. So there you go. One quarter cup is what we figured out works well for two pumps of this epoxy. And then just give it a good thorough mix there. Ready? Ready. All right. Let me know when you're ready for the second cup. Okay.
So the entire rail has been filled and basically leveled in a very rough fashion. So that now, what, by the way, what I mean by leveled is essentially it's level from the outside edge to the inside edge. You can see kind of right there is where, you know, there's a lot of leveling happening with the epoxy. So the, the height of this outer edge and inner edge really varies around the entire boat, as does the width of this gap. But uh, now it's all essentially, you know, uniform and flat. We need to do a bit of sanding now, a little bit more prep. And we can start laying on the fiberglass cloth. Those gloves look kind of soggy. They are very soggy. It's like a swamp in there. Let's see. Take, take them off. Let's see what's inside there. Are they actually going to drip? Ew. Oh, look at that shininess. <laughs> You're actually kind of pruny. Yeah. Is that pruniness I see? Yes. Wow, look at that thumb. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> Great job, honey. You too. Take a little break, and then mm, what are you doing with that hand? I was gonna high-five you. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> All right, take a little break, and then we'll see what's next. Okay. Okie dokie, we made one more lap all the way around the boat, doing kind of a light sanding, knocking down any high spots that resulted from filling this crack. Uh, the next steps are actually going to be to uh, acetone this, and I need to do a little more um, taping and masking on the outside of the boat before we start putting on the fiberglass strips. But looks like it uh, could possibly rain here for a little bit, so we're going to instead skip to the step of cutting our fiberglass strips. Right. at the clubhouse here there's the the boat is over there in that area where all the masts are and we've got this little back porch here uh, because it might rain on us and we have this picnic table hey, boo -boo. picnic table hmm. and there's what we got we got this huge roll of B no DBM mat this is double biased mat uh, it's called 1708. That means it's 17 ounce of the woven mat, and then it is eight ounces of the, you know, the uh, this chopped stuff on the back, and it's all sewn together. This is what we're using to uh, put on top of the bulwark and replacing in 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 place of the cap rail. Ah, sorry about that. Ha. All right, here's what else we have. We have Sharpie markers, we have scissors for cutting the stuff, we have two extra batteries for the cameras, and then over here is the most important part, that 2x4. This 2x4 is three and a half inches wide, which just so happens to be the same width that we're gonna be cutting these strips. So I cut this 2x4 to the same width this, as this roll of fiberglass, so we're gonna roll out the fiberglass, lay the 2x4 on top of it, mark it with the marker, and then do a cut. Mark it again with the 2x4 in the marker, do a cut. So it's going to be a little bit of a process. I think we have to have about, I got to do the math again, but it's close to a 90 strips. Yeah, close to 100. And this tray here, uh, this is actually, I made this little tray just for wetting all of the little strips of fiberglass once we get all set up. But we're just going to use this to stack them all up here nice and neat and carry them back to the boat for now. That is what we're up to. Daisies blooming, 
Sundry swaying in the breeze I can't stop staring You've put a spell on me And I hope that you never decide to set me free Let's not waste time or take this slow We've got miles behind us but miles to go So let's just break this down to the simplest truth You and I as one will always be better than two Leaves ain't waiting Their colors changing like the times And I'm taking Darling, would you be mine? And I hope you know I will love you For the rest of my life Let's not waste time or take this slow You got miles behind us but miles to go So let's just break this down the simplest truth Yeah, you and I as one will always be better than two <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> There's Molly, Tampy, and then here to thank you for watching our video yes <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this week's episode <laughs> you guys are really warm <laughs> All right, that's enough foolishness ladies <sighs> thank you so much for watching our video we hope you enjoyed it now we have a couple people we need to thank and one of those peoples <laughs> is a new patron that's kept that has come on board. I'm going with it. I'm not stopping this train. That's fine. Okay, who do we have to thank, Tammy? Martin. Thank you. That's Martin. Mar Martin. Yeah, no, it's not Mar Martin. It's Martin. <laughs> Martin, Martin. The next thing is a... What? Oh. Uh, what is it, Molly? G-Flex 650. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Okay, now, some person, we don't know who, there wasn't a note included, uh, they sent us two gallons of epoxy. It's a special epoxy called G-Flex 650, and it has a very specific purpose. This is the stuff we're going to be using to line the inside of our fuel tanks. So, that's a project that we started and then got sidetracked with other projects, and we're very soon going to be circling back to that one and, and working on the fuel tank some more. Thank you very much. The G-Flex 650 is... An, an amazing thing to send us. So, yes. really, we really appreciate it. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the G-Flex 650. That's right. <laughs> now, you want to wrap this one up, Molly? Sure. Okay, go for it. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Great job, Molly. All right, see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>